Whoa. -oh. So, I haven't made a video for Satisfactory in a while, and I apologize. I've been playing uh, Hydraenir. I'm probably going to start streaming that soon, but I'm going to try to start getting more videos out too. I just, what can I say? Time goes by really, really fast. Anyway, I did play some of this off screen though. Uh, update 3 came out. That's a thing. So, some stuff changed. And things, some things got different, but luckily I was, what, one episode in, so I don't really see the need for starting a brand new save file. So I'm just going to continue to use the save file, and we'll just make the best of it. So, just, just to start everybody off, I did do some stuff off screen, which everybody's going to be, everybody who sees this video is going to be really, really happy about, because <laughs> some of the stuff I did was really, really, like, tedious mundane stuff. I got these conveyor belts set up just to play around with. Um, kind of planned out a few things. What I was thinking I might get started on first is building a mini base. And then when we're doing the mini base, I'm going to go and uh, we'll move some of this stuff over there and start a little production line. Now, I did find out something very, very irritating. Uh, something very, very different, I should say. In which case, if you go to this stuff, you need to get to tier 5 to be able to get to the oil. So the good power source takes till tier 5. And to get to tier 5, we also need to build a space elevator. So we're going to need quite the few resources for that, so... That's why, one reason why I thought, let's go get a little production line going and get a little base going. I mean, it's base building, right? And then we're going to get our little, some stuff getting made. And eventually, hopefully, like in the next two episodes or so, I can get a space elevator. Now, I did set up a bunch of these guys. I'm debating whether I want to like continue to use these guys and not put a miner out. Because a miner, if you go over here... Is... Here's where it says it, of course. Five watts of power... Now, if we were to, could use oil, I'd say, big deal, 5 watts of power. But that's 5 watts of power. That's a lot of power when you're using biodiesel. So, technically speaking, to put that in perspective, I would need to take the 20 megawatts that I do. If I get one miner for concrete, one for copper, and then two for iron, because we we're going to be using up a lot of iron... Already, that would use just one of these biomass burners running at full power just to mine for resources. That is nuts. But I'm insane. So what I think I'm going to opt for instead is to get a ton of these guys going, put storage t containers near it, then go and take, like, let's say the iron ore, put the iron ore in here, and then let it be on its little way. And then the best part about that too is that I can spend more power on stuff like making copper, which is four megawatts. Basically, I could have five of these going for that 20. Five of these going for that 20. Or I could have four miners. Now, there is a biomass burner, which is 30 megawatts, but there's a problem with that. So what happens with the biomass burner is that, once again, we're stuck. I could only run six miners with one biomass burner running at full. Or I could run 15 of these guys running. So, when you break it down, 
the way that we have to work out the power grid is iron ingots would just to melt into iron ingots would be four uh, megawatts then to iron plates that's eight iron ingots though into iron rods now we're up to 12 then iron rods into screws now we're at 16 so one biomass burner to do all the iron stuff is already 16 now if we take the copper and use it to get wire which we do need so to melt the copper we're at 16 20 hopefully I'm getting that right 20 to 24 24 to 28 hey look we just used up one biomass burner and it would be running at near full capacity and that's without the miners so I was gonna opt for the storage uh, container thing first then once we get a bunch of resources maybe once if we can get a bunch of biodiesel I'll add another one and then put down a bunch of miners but right now I'm kinda thinking you know it might be better so right now I'm thinking it might be better to build up our system and make it so we're using just one biomass burner we don't want to destroy the environment and then getting all the supplies that we need and that's just the basics so if I wanted to do something silly because just as an example to make this space elevator is 1500 wire that means that if this guy's making 30 wire per minute it's gonna still be let me see here ten. that's gonna be 50 minutes just to get the wire and that's constant running too speaking about that let's go over here right now really really fast and we gotta babysit this thing too because if it runs out of fuel guess what so I'm thinking what we're gonna do right now is I'm probably gonna start planning out a base but before we plan out a base what I would like to do is get a factory made that takes this iron stuff the iron ore I, t I, I promise I'm a professional and then gives me some iron rods and screws so we can get multiple uh, stuff going on because I do eventually want to get a lot of stuff going so and what I was thinking of and the reason why this conveyor belt pointed this way is I was thinking about building in that direction because I do think if I build in that direction it's gonna be pretty good I think it's gonna be really really good I really really think it's gonna work out pretty good so I'm thinking what I'm gonna work on right now first thing of all I need to still get, keep these guys running see when these guys get filled up then it's like oh that's why I have so many of them is because it's like oh yeah I have all those resources that are kind that you know kind of just sitting there that's the only part about not getting the miners that I'm like are you sure you want to do that because if I don't have the miners then there there could be a point where no machines are running and that's not good so we get that guy running okay so all the irons running then let's go put some iron in there now the only bad part about it is that if I go oh goody you're, you're topped off that's nice you're good for right now the only bad part about it is that I really have got to be on top of things 
So let's go in first and make ourselves a um, storage container. Before we do that, though, I wanted to show you guys something. Because what I really want to get to before we, uh, what I really want to get to, you know what? What I really want to get to is unlock logistics first, because these mergers and these conveyor lifts are really going to help us out when we build our little first base thing. And it's not even really going to be a little first base. It's going to be like the basics. Like I'm thinking, let's build a little factory, get ourselves going. I don't want to get spaghetti everywhere. I don't want to just have conveyor belts everywhere. I want to get it fairly cleaned up. So once we get this, that's building stuff. What's our new next ore? Or do we not get ore? Okay, so we got copper sheets, rotors, and then modular frames, and then small plates. So we could actually get a little factory, you know, a couple things getting made here. And our little, or what's probably going to end up being a really, really big uh, factory. The chainsaw is going to really help out too, though. So I need to get that one. See, we got all this stuff. Yeah, I might end up going and doing the miner next episode because that's a lot of resources. Oh, I did find a uh, copper node too over there about. So there's that. But the copper, see I have a line going down there. So in fact, I'm just going to go over there, especially since that conveyor belt's empty. That's not good. While I'm along the way, I'll grab some leaves. I'm doing it for the biodiesel. I promise. So let's get some of the leaves for biodiesel. See, all those guys are stopped right now because they're all full. That's the only part about um, not having a miner that I think could get us in really big trouble. Or I should say get me in really big trouble. Because these guys sitting here not giving you any resources is not good. Because potentially the entire factory could be shut down. And why? Because of these guys. Actually though, before I do that, what I pr probably am going to do... Because I think next episode I'm going to go and start building like a mini factory over here is I think I'm going to next episode go and like link up the conveyor belt so instead of me having to load up everything manually I can just put it in the storage container and then know that it'll get sent over because like right here is the iron ore like what would be so bad with having this guy go directly into not that guy, that would be bad. This guy. So that now, all those items just act like a giant buffer. Let's see. Okay, cool. So what I'm thinking of first is let's see what it'll take. Of course I need plates. At least I got some plates. So what I'm thinking of... Let's put a storage container over here, right? So, let's do that. Because we got that. Let's put this one right here. Actually, I might move the uh, copper one, too. Because if we go to production, we got a constructor. Oh, I'm missing both things. Okay. So let's go over here. Then let's go and craft this stuff really fast.
you know, I just had a very, very funny moment where I went, oh yeah, wait, I don't need to move the brass one because it's not going to stay anything but the brass or the not brass copper why do i call why am i calling you brass developer get on that name it brass it just sounds better and here we go with this So, this guy is going to make iron rods. And what I want to do, because see, if you go over here, this guy makes 30. So it's a 30-30. So that's even. And this guy makes 30. And this guy takes 30. So I don't really want to mess with that. So I'm going to go give this guy his very own... Um, forge. Smelter, of course. Put you right there. <coughs> Seriously, I just recorded that. Dang it. Sorry, guys. I doubt I'll keep that part in, though. So I'm apologizing to myself. Alrighty, so we got ourselves some concrete. I'm already at 21 minutes, perfect. You know what, I'm just gonna go do that. Production, the smelter. storage container down. There we go. So our goal now is to take all that iron and use that to then make it so I can automate making iron rods. Because the lazier I get to be, the better. Copper, you don't need that. Yeah, I'm probably going to automate a lot of this. I can't concentrate on... Hey, birdie. Hi, birdie. Hi, birdie. Okay, bye, birdie. Hi, bird. Anyway, I can't concentrate on what to put in what place, so I'm probably just going to automate everything because I'm lazy and that works. And last thing I need to do is cause a problem. By uh, choking up the system. Alrighty, so to get our base building tier so we can get started on that next episode, we need to get that, that, that easy stuff. So, wait, did I just take all the concrete and use it all on something else? I did, didn't I? That's okay. That's why I put these things over here.
Okay, that should be enough. No, don't go that way. I don't want to fall. There we go. Milestone reach. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide Ooh. Needed to build basic factory infrastructure. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Unlock several structures. Good job, Judy. I'm going to call you Judy. See, this is the next one that we want. See? We have that stuff. How hard is it for me to get that stuff? Not too hard. Wait, what? Oh, you mean... ah? Do I need to wait for the pod to come back? Oh, okay. A minute or so. Ah, uh, I could get the resources in that time. So we'll have... Boop, boop. So... I can't choose it until it comes back. Bummer. But... I got you now. And I got you. Okay, you're full. So I got that. Okay. Iron ingots. So... get some of you. Anyway, I'm probably going to do some stuff off cam again. Because it's... I'd rather... I, I, I would almost rather stream me explaining why I did what I did. Oh, goody. It re-entered. Anyway, I'd ra I almost would rather explain why I did what I did versus spending three hours, like, doing this. Ooh. How cool is that? Or in the case of the other thing, I might just continue to make spaghetti and then, like, next time I record an episode, go in, uh, there we go. I'm gonna make a little extra. Anyway, though, and then, uh, make it so next episode, like, we're actually building it. So you can see the factory get built, but then you don't have to see the grinding that I did. Milestone reach. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity. Man, this thing looks cool. Factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. Okay. The productivity display Bye. Will measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings made with optimization. Okay, so I got that stuff done. It's not bad, we got two tiers. So, yeah, I'm probably just going to do that. Might do some other stuff, too. I don't... Ugh. Oh, hi, Birdie. You came back. Hi, Birdie. Hi, Birdie. Hi, Birdie. Hi, Birdie. You stuck? You stuck? Okay. Anyway... There's a couple different ways that I can approach this, but I think that the best one would it be to build the factory over there and then have like the bottom row be just one item, the next row be just one item, the next row be just one item. And now that we got the other stuff, we can do that. I'm thinking maybe fourth episode, let's go and get the space elevator. Oh, who am I kidding? I want to get the space elevator as soon as I can. Because I have a feeling that with their changes, that stuff's going to change. And I'm going to go, no! 
and then my little factory is going to change. So yeah, probably by next episode we're going to get the space elevator. Maybe the beginning of the next episode I'll just be like, hey, look, I built it. Oh, see? This is why we need to get to oil as fast as possible. And I plan on getting to oil as soon as I can. Because this thing's insane. Who wants to go and collect leaves all day? Okay, so now we got that going. Is that new? I feel like I saw something flying for a few seconds there. Oh, that guy. That guy is so cool. Anyway. But yeah, so by next episode I'm thinking, let's go. And... Get more of an actual factory set up. I'll work some more on my spaghetti over here. And what I want to do is build the factory thing over there. Now, is there anything else that I can unlock really, really fast? So I can say, I'm on a roll. Because to be honest, out of Tier 2, I think the chainsaw is the best one to go for. But can I get enough resources to get it? But it'd be nice to get done with Tier 1, but that's just the field research. Then again, though, too, the MAM would be cool. The beacon would be cool. The personal storage. More inventory slots would be cool. But, you know, I'm going to go... See, this one, too, is going to be really, really good. So let's see here. Obstacle clearing. I know I said I would stop, but... I can't. I like this game. So let's go grab you real fast. Wait, why didn't I just do this? To obstacle clearing. Select milestone. Now I know what I need to make. I'll probably be back in a few minutes. A few minutes for you, a few hours for me. Yay. Okay, something really, really fast that I just now noticed. If this number, 100, does go down by 4. So, if you need to make something like 500 screws, you only need to hold this down and make... Well, it'll say 500 right here, where it is screws, but it does take into account the fact that you get multiple screws per... Uh, or multiple screws per uh, iron bar that you use or iron rod that you use eventually I'll get the names right I've only been playing this for a while okay and then I made some extra as usual so then we're gonna go over here we're gonna go give this to him Push this button. Milestone reached. Biofuel will ensure maximum and hopefully someday get paid. Burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage. Bye, bug looking plane. Additionally, R and D say hi to the people on the space station for me. Is he actually gonna go away? Wow, I can see the little dot still. I can still see the little dot. Wow, I can still see the little dot. I think it's just going to stay up there. I don't think it actually goes away. Hi, Space Manatee. Or Space Stingray. See, I don't get the name of anything right. That's just kind of my, my style. Anyway, so... With that, I think I'm going to call that it for right now. Now let's go up here and take a look at my disaster because I think we've started ruining nature already 
So, anyway, oh, and we're out of power. Great. So, I'll have to get more uh, plant matter now. Anyway, so, have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps out. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Bye.